Today we are here to cover asset valuation and simple risk. This was not an original feature in the Simple Risk Core product, but was added as an enhancement based upon customer feedback. Although simple risk can be used to keep track of an asset's value, the asset value does not affect the overall risk score. An asset's value should be factored into the impact component, which is an integral part of the overall risk score calculation. In short, Asset valuation will never affect the risk score in Simple Risk. To start making use of the asset valuation feature, you should first configure it to match the needs of your organization by navigating to the Configure menu at the top, followed by the Asset Valuation menu on the left. On this page, you will see three sections for configuring asset valuation. The first section displays the details for default settings. This is where you choose both the default currency to be used in your simple risk along with an asset's default value. The default asset value ranges that can be selected are defined by the third section. The second section allows you to set a minimum and maximum value an asset could have in your organization. Once you define the minimum and maximum values, simple risk takes them and automatically calculates 10 equal asset value ranges between them. This will make for an easy method of creating equal asset valuation ranges that may provide meaningful value to the organization. Once you have set the minimum and maximum ranges, click the Update button at the bottom of the section and the generated ranges for assets will now be reflected in the section below. The third section allows you to manually select minimum and maximum values for each value range. When manually selecting these ranges, you should note that SimpleRisk has built-in protection to ensure that all ranges remain contiguous from the lowest value to the highest, so there are no gaps in between the ranges. Any new assets added will be put in the value range that applies to the asset value when creating it. Once you have configured the asset value ranges, you are now ready to start making use of them. To give an already defined asset a value, you must first navigate to the Asset Management menu at the top and then the Edit Assets on the left. Here you will see all of the assets that have been added to the system. There is a column near the middle labeled Asset Valuation. By adjusting the drop-down menus in this column, you are able to set the asset value for the asset displayed in that row. Any changes must be saved into the system by clicking the Update button found at the bottom of the page. Any new assets added to the system will be placed in the proper value range according to the asset value given. This concludes the video on asset valuation. If any questions were left unanswered or could use more in-depth descriptions, please submit your feedback to our customer support email address, which is support at simplerisk.com.